In today's show, I'm going to be showing you how to add an authorized user into your Amazon FBA Seller Central account. Now this is great if you're bringing on a new team member or if you're bringing on like an agency to manage something, it's great to give them access to your Seller Central because then they can manage your inventory, they can manage your ordering, they can manage your PPC, they can manage reporting, they can manage your, your listings as well and as well as your store pages. So I'm going to show you how to add a user. So let's switch over to my screen and do that right now. Before I get started though, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and then hit the little bell to be notified whenever we come out with great Amazon PPC or Amazon FBA videos. So here we are inside my Seller Central. And to get to the user permissions window, you just head up here to settings, scroll down to user permissions, and then click user permissions right there. This will pull up all your user permissions that you've given access to. Now, what we're gonna do now is add somebody. So we're actually gonna scroll down to the bottom Add a new Seller Central user. So we're gonna put their name, email address, and then we're just gonna click Send Invitation. After we've sent their invitation, now what we have to do is we have to wait for them to accept the invitation. Once they've accepted the invitation, then what we can do is manage their permissions. So we're gonna to go to that same area, Settings, User Permissions. We're gonna scroll down and find their email address and click Manage Permissions. Now, depending on what this person is doing for you will depend on the permissions you want to manage. For our agency, for example, we like to have full control of the, the, the Seller Central, um, not admin access, but mostly view and edit because we like to look at the product listing pages, we like to look at the PPC, we like to look at the reporting. And so what we do is we have you click View and Edit for all the inventory, Pricing, View and Edit, Advertising, of course, view and edit. You can probably even give admin access for that one, but view and edit, just to keep it simple. Orders, we like to look at orders for reviews. Store design, if we're gonna help out with that. We don't need Amazon Pay. Reports, view and edit. And then finally, settings. We don't really need much with settings. Um, you can kind of leave those alone. We do like to have manager cases just in case we need to open up something fulfillment settings as well, um, but everything else is pretty much run by you. Image uploading, we like view and edit. We don't need to upgrade or downgrade your account. We don't need to apply for a loan for you. Um, we do like to see KPIs, so you can view that, um, and none of the rest of it really matters. So once you hit continue, what will happen is it will change everything. You're changing from red, you're going to the green. So you just want to double check that. That's mainly what that's for. Scroll down and hit continue and that's it. So that's how you change, that's how you add somebody and then change their user permissions inside of Amazon Seller Central. If you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below and hit that little subscribe button while you're down there and hit the little bell to be notified. If you have any questions regarding anything I went over in this video you can put those down in the comments below and then make sure you check out my free Amazon PPC Masterclass in the description. That's an, it's an eight to 10 week guide to Amazon PPC on how we scale our brand with Amazon pay-per-click.